In Creo Parametric, you can create a drawing of an assembly, and that drawing can include a bill of materials. Using the different report parameters, you can automatically assign an index number to the different lines in that bill of materials, and you can automatically sum up the quantity of those components. But sometimes you don't want a component to have an index number or to have a quantity. In those situations, you can replace the index number or the quantity with a dash. Let's go to the table tab and then choose repeat region. This will open up the menu manager. One of the choices is dash item. And in the message area, we're prompted to select text in the table, which contains either the report.index or report.quantity parameter. So let's choose some. So for example, I've got my indented bill of materials and I don't want an index number for the top line. So I will click on that and you'll notice that it now gets a dash number and all the other components were automatically renumbered. And maybe I also don't want a quantity. So let's click on that cell. And the very last item in here is a warranty card. And so that's something that's going to be in my bill of materials, but I don't want to call it out in a balloon. So once again, I can just click on the index number, click on the quantity if I want, and then click done. And let's repaint the screen. And now my table is updated. But let's say I change my mind and I want some of those different values back. Well, you just have to repeat the process. Let's go to repeat region and then dash item. And I can click in this cell and we get the quantity back and this cell and I get the index number back and then click done and repaint the screen. And in that way, you can either replace your index numbers or quantities with dashes or bring them back.